let's uh, do a little more blender tech. Again, it's hot. And when it gets hot, nothing's better than a nice, cool, refreshing beverage. Am I right? Well, today, I'm going to show you how to make the equivalent of Barely's Irish Cream using common things that you'll find in the store. So instead of spending $20, $30 for uh, Barely's, you can make a whole pitcher full for less than $10. Let me show you what we need to get started, and we'll whip this thing up lickety-split. Everything you need is right down here. You're going to need some whiskey. You're going to need some vanilla, instant coffee, a can of condensed, not evaporated, but a can of condensed milk, chocolate syrup. You're going to need other milk, and obviously, you're going to need one of these. So let's blend up some... Baileys and have us a nice cool libation. What I do normally is I'll start off by putting in the whiskey. And you're going to use anywhere from, I'd usually say about a cup and a half. So they want to make this thing a little kick. So we're going to pour some more whiskey in here. All right. And then the thing that's the hardest part of do, dealing with this is getting the coffee to do its thing. So normally I'll add that next. You're going to put in a tablespoon of instant coffee. Now one of the beauties of making your own too is guess what? You get to change the flavor as you go along. So I'm just going to give this thing a pulse or two. Just going to get that coffee dissolved. Then I'm going to start adding in everything else. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to add in is this stuff. The condensed milk. And it do take a while. You might need to help it along with the spoon there. But we'll get it all in there sooner or later. And I'll add the rest of this in a few seconds. Again, we're going to pulse it. Alright. Then we're going to add in one tablespoon of vanilla. We're going to add in Two cups of cream. You can use cream. I mean, I'm using almond milk here. I just I don't do dairy very well, so a lot of times I'll do this. Put in your cream. You want to give it a couple of tablespoons of chocolate syrup here. We're gonna give it another pulse. I'm gonna add in the rest of that condensed milk. I'm gonna help this bad boy along with a spoon. Oh yeah, that is good. I'm gonna finish this picture off if you don't mind. But like I said, what's nice about this is you can make it in quantity. You can chill it in the fridge and pitcher it if it ever gets to the fridge. And you can serve it at parties or do what I do, enjoy it yourself. Anyway, next thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to take make a cold soup, which kind of has its basis in uh, the liquor industry too because it's Bloody Mary soup, which is basically a cold tomato soup with a little kick. So stand by and we'll be back as soon as I finish this, we'll get on to making our soup. Hey, if I'm still soap.